Welcome back to our channel. We are in Cambodia today. Oh my gosh, we cannot wait to explore this place. We are fresh on the streets in Phnom Penh. So I think today is just gonna be maybe a lot of eating, exploring, adventuring, and seeing what a new country is like. Oh okay. god. This is the best one I've ever had. Oh wow. Guess what we see again, guys? Miss the tuk tuk. We have not seen tuk tuk since we were in Thailand, and it's been months. There's no tuk tuks in Vietnam. There's no tuk tuks in the Philippines. The Philippines for trikes. Tricycles, but we see little tuk tuks again. Or tuk tuk, however you say that. We're already starting to see street food stalls, and there is huge coconuts on the streets here. Ginormous. Biggest we've ever seen, I think. <laughs> Actually, right over there. So as you can see behind me, there's a little bit of traffic. So we're gonna stay on this side of the road. We'll do a little zoom action so you guys can see. So we are gonna spice this video up today and we're gonna do something kind of fun and we're gonna include some facts throughout our video because we love exploring and we also love learning. And I'm sure hopefully you guys do too. So with that being said, fact number one is there is no McDonald's in Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> hello, I waved to the camera. <laughs> How do you say hello in Khmer? Hello. Hello, Susan. 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 Yeah. Susan. Okay, thank you so much. Susan. <laughs> yeah, I did long time. Long time. You work here. I had two uh, two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like it? I like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's our first day in Cambodia. Day one. Yeah, yeah we've oh. never been here. Oh yeah. 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 So we're exploring. Where you come from? Canada. Um, Canada, we're from Canada. Wakanda, yeah. 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 yeah, but we've been to Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, yeah. Malaysia, Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go to Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> so we're very excited. We want to try some local food. Yeah. Yeah. So many uh, restaurants. Yeah. That's what we're yeah. yeah near uh, near uh, Royal. Royal, yeah. the Royal Palace. Yeah. Ah, okay. Go that way. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god, so sweet. Awesome. <laughs> so I already forget how to say that, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> now we'll have to get a few reminders. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I wanted to learn how to say hello, but sometimes saying hello is very hard for our Western tongues. We're honestly, we're horrible at pronouncing things. <laughs> People comment on it often, and we try our best, honestly, but it is what it is, you know? <laughs> like always, we're still trying to figure out how to cross the street. It's a little interesting. Every new place you go, you kind of are a little bit hesitant, and some places hesitation cause problems. So hopefully not here. The Cambodia flag. And so, this brings me to fact number two. The Cambodia flag is the only flag in the world with a building on it, and it's an illustration of Angkor Wat. So this is the first country since we started our adventures where the wording is looking like Thailand, where we first started it all in November of last year. When we start exploring a new place, I really like to see the mixed influence. Like right now, I'm really getting like Vietnam, Thailand vibes, and we're right smack dab in the middle of them. So that kind of makes sense. Okay, we're crossing the street. <laughs> There's no sign. It looks like the signs might be out. I don't know. Oh, we also hear an ambulance. <laughs> All right, we made it. Right now we are coming up onto a building and it's giving me temple vibes through and through. I'll give you guys a look. The stonework is absolutely beautiful. Like this wall kind of just goes all along the street and it's so intricate. I can only imagine how long it would take to do something like that. Like artist skills, <laughs> artist skills. Oh, there's a car, got a bit. <laughs> but that's not respectful, so we're not going to do that. You're going to have bad juju for the rest of the year. <laughs> it's tempting though, yeah, it looks like that's a perfect little seat. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like someone like Shelby did it before, because they're trying to build a new concrete tail. Someone probably broke it off doing what Shelby was doing. Now that I see that, I feel like that tail would go places I don't want it to go. <laughs> Open. 
So you guys might not know this about me, but I used to be an electrician in my past life in Canada. This stuff stresses me out. <laughs> there is no shortage of coffee shops here again. That's another thing that reminds me of Vietnam. Coffee shops everywhere. You see what I'm seeing? A poutine. That's... <laughs> what a cutie! Hi! It's so cute. <laughs> He's not playing unless you have treats for him. This is like coffee. I'm like, do you see the dog? <laughs> There's a little dog. He has pink shoes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so adorable. So currently we're just on our way to Sisoat Key, which is the boardwalk along the Mekong River. And apparently there's lots of happening stuff there. It's really beautiful. So we're gonna check it out. And also on my right hand side, right, left, I'm horrible with that, we see the National Museum of Cambodia. So we have to show you guys that because I think it's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. Okay, if that's not absolutely stunning, that is so beautiful. Do you see that little elephant <laughs> in the bush? They've made like an elephant shrub. <laughs> I think you need tickets to enter this building, but we really wanted to stop by and show you this place because it looks incredible. My favorite thing about this place is the little horns on top of the buildings. I've never seen a building look so horny. <laughs> the whole building is done in like this red design, which is really nice. It's like almost looks like there's pennies on the roof. It looks like copper or something. And then there's a whole bunch of beautiful shrubs and greenery. It's just a nice place to take a little stroll even if you don't go in the museum. really wanted to check out the Royal Palace and the Silver Pagoda as well, but word on the street is it's closed due to the world situation. So we're gonna see if we can still kind of see the outside and get a good view of it, but it's too bad that we can't go inside because that's one of like the main things, the main tourist attractions to do here in Phnom Penh, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna share another fact with you guys. Cambodia has a shocking past, something that's only happened 43 years ago. You might have heard of the Khmer Rouge before, and if you haven't, it's a brutal regime that ruled Cambodia for four years. It was from 1975 to 1979. Over two million people were killed, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't want anyone to get upset. There is a ton of information. You can learn more about it on like Google, or there's lots of YouTube videos, and you can check those out if you wanna learn more. But it's absolutely devastating, and it's a big part of history that I feel like everybody should know if they come to Cambodia. So that is another fact. Is it a toucan? What the hell that is? It's a big old bird. It's a big old bird, you guys. We found birds in the trees. Is it a big bird? I can't see it. Chase can see it. It is straight right there. You can oh! See it fly. Like, oh, wow! They're huge. They're eating That's berries off the tree. I think there's two of them. They got a oh, yellow beak. I wonder what kind of birds they are. White butt, black got... feathers, yellow beak. <laughs> they have huge beaks. <laughs> Quit flashing me your butt, dude. <laughs> Let me see a face. Awesome. From what I can see, there's so much to do. You can get massages, you can visit all these little kind of art galleries, lots of like paintings. You can get street snacks, you can get food. And we're kind of making our way towards the river area, what it looks like right now. And it's definitely getting more busier, <laughs> busier and you can see more um, tourists. So it's exciting. Well, 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 I'm feeling a little peckish. So we're on the hunt for a snack. There's been so many street food stalls. They all smell so delicious. I wonder which one we're gonna pick. So I think we have found our victims. We are hungry. <laughs> we need some food. Yeah, our I don't know. That's like the first thing that came to mind. But I, I need some food too. <laughs> Ooh, that was like good. That was yeah. really good. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Is this chai? Chai? Yeah. Beef and egg. One. And then the chai? One chai. One. Oh, thank you. 
this, and then that one. Okay, so this is actually kind of funny. We decided on this noodle dish, and I actually read about this, because usually when I we go to a new country, I Google food to try, and it's called laka. I asked him how to say it, and I think that's what I heard, laka noodles. And this is a common street food in Cambodia. And the noodles look really thick. It looks so good. There's lots of veggies. So we got ours with beef and an egg. And then he told us to put this sauce. Ooh. Vinegar? I don't know. Oh, it smells good though. I'll just drizzle it all over and give it a go. Yeah, it's got bean sprouts. I don't know the vegetables. I don't know if it's like kale or morning glory or what. So good. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. It's not heavy. It actually tastes really light. I feel like I'm almost getting some kind of spice in there. Like I want to say five spice, but maybe I'm wrong. It's like smoky, it's savory. It is so delicious. The noodles are nice and al dente. Mm. Okay, I can get down with loca. And I really don't know what this, I'm gonna put more because I just kind of want to get more of the flavor. It's some kind of sweet. I don't think it's vinegar though. We gotta do, we gotta do some investigation here. I am not graceful, you guys. This is literally me when I eat. Right. I don't think it's vinegar. Unless there's a little bit of vinegar in here, it's like a sweet sugary sauce with like garlic or something. Let's try some of this egg. Okay, I got a big bite here. It's so good. Whatever sauce this is, adds such a sweet element too. Lock up. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, we've let these chive, I'm gonna say pancake. These chive pancakes cool off a little bit. Oh. Oh. Still really hot though. Oh man. That's super delicious. Very hot, I can't give you a full taste thing. But we're supposed to put this one on these chai pancakes. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There's some sweetness going on in here. The crispy exterior, this is the best one I've ever had. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bite of this little dumpling now. I don't know if it's chai. Like, when, whenever we see things like this, it looks like chai. I don't know if that's what it is. We'll see. Oh. Very hot still. Ooh. Whoa. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's chive. That's good. Yeah, it's chive. I think so. It is not like a strong chive. It has a very nice. We've tried strong chive before. Not a fan. <laughs> and this, this is one? fully loaded. So if oh, it was strong, good. it would have been like. Wow, and it's like, it's so oily and it's so crispy and deep fried. That's this, a win. This was a perfect stop. Yeah, take it from us. Do we eat street food in Cambodia? Like, do we do our research? No, we just, I mean. We'll check in later. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, <laughs> we're probably gonna have diarrhea later now. Just kidding. So we just finished that delicious food and we have another fact coming at you guys. Funny thing is they use American dollar and Cambodian real here. So that whole meal was 17,000 Cambodian real, but I paid with American dollar and in American, it was 425. So I wonder if I'm ever going to get used to the heat. The sweat patch has been going on for almost a full year and they say, you get climatized, I'm waiting for the day. So as we're going through this flock of pigeons, we're walking right up to this beautiful golden building. The paint and everything looks so updated, it's stunning. This road is like completely shut off to traffic. What it looks like, oh, it looks like a motorbike snuck through. But there's like people and birds and people are feeding the birds. There's little guys with ice cream. Like this place is such a vibe. I'm loving it. And I think the water is just right over that way. So eventually we're gonna make our way over there, but we're just gonna enjoy the chaos in the meantime. <laughs> Yes. How amazing. Wow. It looks amazing here. For sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> this lovely gentleman right here said he has ice cream. Yes, yeah, check it out. Oh, chocolate. What's this one? Uh, this one. Do you have um, co coconut? Coconut. 
Yes. We'll do a, how much? Uh, one. One dollar. Okay. okay. Just one. Just one. One's good. One yes. Okay. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, do you take this off? <laughs> oh, you take this off. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank oh, you very thank much. You. Got my little coconut stick. This is perfect, literally. Yeah. Like, I feel like I need to be over, like here. Yeah. Look at this view. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. We had a coconut popsicle in Vietnam, and it was good, but it was like very icy. Like it kind of was watery. This is like. I'm pretty sure he just took coconut milk, mixed it with sugar, and like popped it on a stick because this is like thick. Oh, you try this. This is good. So he kind of tried to give me the chocolate, so I don't know if it was one USD for two popsicles, but oh. either way, he can have a tip. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe that was right. Oh, wow. It's thick. It's thick. creamy. It's thick. Mm-hmm. Super thick. Very delicious. Very oh, delicious. Oh, yum. Yeah. <laughs> there you, go. you know I'm happy when I have sweets. I am such a sweets lover. And um, there's coconut ice cream all over Southeast Asia. And I am like, I am so happy about it because I love coconut anything. All right, well, I finish up my coconut pop. I still can't get over how many people are here at the Royal Palace Park. It is absolute madness. I think there is more people than pigeons, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I think it's so cute too, cause like you just see like little kids, like they're blowing bubbles and they're feeding the birds. They're having the time of their life. And then you have like, I guess like the, the front of the palace. I don't even know what to call this construction, but it's friggin' fantastic. There's donuts on that lady's head. Woo. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's wicked! Wow! Yeah. Oh my god, birds! <laughs> they kind of blend in with the sky. So right now, we are in the very center. It's like a roundabout, but not for vehicles, I hope. No, I don't think so. Oh, you never know with no, the motorbikes. Watch out! Some of the motorbikes, you're like, no, they're not going to come through there. And they're like, me, 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 me. But I feel like, do we have to maybe cross that road? Because there's like the CISO app. Boardwalk, and I feel like we have to cross that road, and it looks kind of crazy. Yeah, let's go check it out. Some more street crossing for you guys. Dun, da, da, da. Right here comes the road. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Guys are just going. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. Oh. I like this. I'm not gonna like it. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I think they're a little forgiving on that street because uh, there's no way you're gonna cross if they're not. <laughs> Awesome. I mean, there's not many lakes. Well, I don't think there's any lakes or ocean or swimming really in the town of Phnom Penh, but you can come here and you can still kind of enjoy the water and enjoy the river and literally just bring your food down here or there's tons of food that you can buy down here. There's like everything. And yeah, it's just a really nice place you can walk and you can walk along the boardwalk and hopefully not get run over because it doesn't look like there's any traffic. It's over there. So yeah, it's just a really nice place to take a stroll. So another fact, coming in hot. It is believed that there are still several million landmines scattered across the country's rural side that organizations are trying to find and dismantle. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bunch of like debris that's kind of floating down the river. I don't know if it's from like natural disasters or if that's just normal in this area. If you guys come to this boardwalk, you can even do boat tours. We see all these little boats going by and we've asked a few times, but we've done that kind of stuff before. So we decided to pass this time. And also, I believe somewhere there's like a night market along this little river path too that you could check out.
looking up at the gray sky. I think I heard some thunder on the horizon. Feet are tired. This was a perfect day here in Cambodia. If you guys love these adventures, make sure to subscribe, give it a like, and we'll see you guys in the next one.